Welcome to Hoodoo TV. Um, we are talking new comic books. April 25th. It is some new books headed our way. And there are some great things that have just happened. Like Super Whoa. Troopers 2. What's oh, up, Chris? Sorry. sorry, I got dressed up in my Super Troopers outfit. Sorry about my mustache being out of regulation. But this is such a great movie, you know. You know, I uh, I think you need to get some uh, some pancakes. Glittering and glittering <laughs> and. Um, you know, well, this is kind of a, a PG. We don't smoke the reefer here. All right. <laughs> you may be a moose, cause that's what they got. The mooses in Canada, as Super Troopers goes up to Canada. Uh, all right. Cool, man. What's happening? Busy, man. So busy with this whole Ninjak versus. Every day we're on this thing, and it's just go, 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 go. Get information. Communicate with everybody that wants some type of information. It's It's been fun, but it's been really busy. Why you make it sound like it's a bad thing, man? Oh, no, no. It's not a bad thing. This has been a lot of fun. It's just constant communication with people. You know, they want to know where. They want to know what. They want it broken down. They want information, this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, it's a lot of fun. You just you do it. You end up doing a lot of talking, which is which is kind of what we're doing right here. We're doing a lot of talking. That's right. Well, we you know we talked a lot about a ninja versus. Uh, we got some news about that at the end of this show. So make sure you're holding on to this to watch the end of it, so you can get some news that we got. Um, we got some stuff coming. So make sure you watch the end of this for some ninja versus. And also, if you're waiting for later. Make sure you uh, watch the next video because we're going to do a live video after this to talk about uh, episode number four. Boom. Boop, boop. boop, boop. Baby, boop. boop. Um, and then, uh, you know, but there has been some great stuff coming on. There's some good stuff. Last, Like I said, last week we had Super Troopers True. We had some great stuff. Um, one of Our uh, buddy NES Master 80 is online. Thanks for joining us, man. Um, but this week, Avengers, it's here. It's coming. Uh, it's in your face. A uh, big, 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 big thing. So, I, uh, I, I, yes. Hype. Yes. Hype. Big hype. I'm just gonna say hype. Lots of hype. Um, yeah. I've even had Twitter friends that say, "Okay, I'm done talking. I'm not gonna talk on Twitter." I'm like, "Dude, it's a week away. Yep, I'm done. You're not gonna hear from me for an entire week because I don't want any spoilers for anything." Okay. I mean, they even went to this last weekend. There was a bunch of them at a con, and they asked the audience, don't ask us anything about Avengers because we're going to pass on every question about the Infinity Wars that's coming up. So I think they're going long distances to keep everything under wraps for the fans. I applaud that. This is a huge movie. So, yeah, I'm excited to go see it. I think the wife and I have got plans to go see it Sunday afternoon. It's going to be a, kind of a chill day for us, so... Sunday afternoon, her and I are going to go see this. So my thoughts are uh, Captain America dies in this issue, this episode. Mm -hmm. And then uh, then they got Infinity Wars 2 that's already been said to do come out. It's already been filmed, right? Um, and that's my thought of where uh, Iron Man uh, kicks it too. And uh, we are we are we're out with those two guys. Um, yeah, done. You know, but uh, yeah, there's it's been so much. There is so much around it. It is one of the biggest star-studded cast of uh, of any you know movie of you know what I mean that's came out you know outside of Expendables too. Um, it's been chill. Um, it's got it's it's it is it's it is getting a lot of hype. Um, a lot of people are pumped up about it. Hey, go for it. Um, if you like those characters, you like Marvel. Um, I'm gonna watch it. Am I gonna watch it opening weekend? No. Uh, I don't want to deal with the crowds of it, but probably the week after, maybe. So, but Avengers, I mean, still big time movie. It's a comic book movie. Um, I like my comic book movies. I like comic book stuff. There you go. That's what I got. What did you read last week? Well, I've been infatuated with this book since it first came out, but it was Infidel 2. Um, wrote a review for it. Spectacular. Man, this is a scary, scary book. And I love it. It's fantastic. I drool over it. I can't wait for the third one because I really want to get every single one because the intensity only just continues to pick up. So that's my number one pull for last week was Infidel. Nice, nice. I'm trying to think back, and I either read uh, press press stuff, uh, reviews, 
or uh, I did do some back. I went and got the uh, trying to get some remainder red, and I wow. got low and um, black science are some two new trades that I picked up. Uh, just getting some back issues of low and uh, black science red. Uh, Remender's a freaking awesome rider. So, but uh, Infidel, um, I hear it's pretty cool. Little five part series uh, image. So, dude, that's that's a nice call. That's cool. So, uh, I don't know. Do you want to just get into books that we're reading this week? Heck yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this grouping. We've got some good books to talk about. Yeah. Um, I wanted to start it off by kind of touching base with some of our valiant creators that we know and love. Uh, good to me. Yeah. One of them is uh, the writer of uh, Faith, Jody Hauser, and a guy who's done a couple covers for Valiant is uh, Ibrahim Mustafa. And they are on Mother Panic with uh, DC's Young Animal. Um, and Mother Panic is a really cool character. She's based in Gotham. And it's like anti-crusaders. They don't want the uh, the uh, the superheroes quite there in Gotham anymore. Um, but this character, she is attempting to break into the Arkham Asylum. And she's kind of needing the help of Catwoman and Poison Ivy. Who knows if she's going to get the help she wants or the help she needs. But um, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Jody Hauser with um, her and Ibrahim with um, uh, Mother uh, Mother Panic Gotham AD. This is number two, the second one out. Cool. Do you want to continue rolling on? Yeah, keep it. Go for it. No, you go for it. I think you had one. Oh, okay, uh, all right. You, as you you know, and everybody out there also knows that I've been a huge fan of uh, Alterna Comics. When they when they sell you a comic for two dollars or less, um, it's something that you got to pay attention to. So I a while back reviewed The Wicked Righteous and reviewed number one through four. Well, number five finally comes out this week. I'm excited. I'm excited about it because this has been a great Armageddon style story with a bit of a twist. Um, it's not something that we're normally used to. China has taken over a portion of America, and I want to say somebody else has taken over another portion of America. We're, we're on the Chinese side. And the only people that are alive because of some odd, weird disease are children and those people that have taken a life. Bizarre twist. Um, and it's very interesting because one of the main characters is a little cuckoo. Um, so the story, the story moves quite interestingly. Um, but that's one I would say, you know what, for two bucks, you can reach out to a t Alterna and get all four of those back issues sent to you. I know our boy Josh is uh, hitting up Alterna quite a bit. Dude, Alterna has been uh, solid. I mean, we get um, a couple people. NES Master 80 says he loves it. We've had uh, um, our friend Alterna Comics fan, Anthony. He is, I mean, his name is Alterna Comics fan. Yeah, he's a huge all fan. About it. The Alterna guys are really cool. Um, I'm, I, good call out. Um, one that I, you know, I know that you also had, and, uh, you could hit up a little bit on this, but, you know, sticking with that new, uh, books from Valiant creators, Matt Kent's Grass Kings, number 14, only one issue left in the whole series. Uh, Tyler Jenkins, Matt Kent killing it. It's time for oh, war, time for the, uh, the brothers to get their uh, kingdom back. Yeah, you know, it's been it's been a fantastic story so far. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's Matt Kent-ish style. It's great because Matt, Matt has a style, but he really can change it up depending on, you know, the artist can influence him doing a certain thing, going a certain way, or maybe just the feel and the flow. Um, and I think that's what's so special about him is, you know, he doesn't have a typical bad guy or he doesn't have a typical good guy. Everybody, I mean, he really just feels the flow of where the book's going, the ideas that he has, and he does some spectacular things. And this this is another fantastic book, another great series. Yeah, um, there we there got, we got uh, his, his buddy, buddy. Um, with Terrifics number three, his buddy Jeff Lemire. Um, this has been one of like the, the newer groupings, the, uh, AKA Fantastic Four of the DC universe with, uh, Mr. Fantastic Plastic Man. Dude, um, again, one of those comics that you're, you know, I personally haven't read, want to give, um, but a lot of people I know have, and they've loved this book, and they're giving it a lot of praises. And of course, Lemire, I'm not surprised that people are uh, enjoying it the way they have. So, yeah, I get behind that too. 
Um, and, and and I'm going from there with Terrifics number three. Good pull. Well, the next book I had is straight back to Alterna. It's the 12. And I had gotten a tidbit. And this is one that, that I'm going to reach out to Alterna. I've already decided. And I'm going to get the back issue. Probably because it's cheap enough, I can get all the Wicked Righteous. Um, but I'm going to get the uh, the number one for the 12. And then the number two coming out, I'm going to see if my LCS has it, my local. Um, this is another kind of Armageddon, but it's like you have an individual, uh, a young teenager, older teenager, I guess you could say, and he's been safe and secure on his father's farm. Well, with his father's blessing, he's getting a chance to explore the strange new world. So it's not everything that he thought that this young man thought it was going to be cracked up to be. So it'll be interesting to see the adventures that he goes on. Nice. And uh, I'm going to continue down with my path that I've been going down with former Valiant Riders or current Valiant Riders, the last two half. And I got this one right here, Elliot Rahal's new book, number two, cult classic, Return to Whisper. Um, this is a vault, a vault book, too. Uh, last one sold out a couple times. It's been well, uh, well thought out, well, uh, well praised. Um, and then Elliot, who's uh, these uh, Ninja versus the book, and he's more recently gotten into um, Quantum and Woody that we will be seeing in the next issue of Quantum and Woody. Yeah. Elliot Rahal. So yeah. Elliot, cool guy. I want to support Elliot, whatever, I, where, where, wherever, and however we can. So. Well, the next book, I only make this announcement because I've got an artist friend who absolutely loves this company, and that's the Lady Death. The whole Lady Death Unholy Ruin. He's a huge fan. He loves to draw her, and, and he loves to make covers. Anytime he has some fan that comes in that wants to talk anything Lady Death, he can go on for hours. But uh, that Unholy Ruin comes out. It, if, if that is your genre, if that's what you like, it's a new series. Get after it. Let's see, you know. And if you do get after it, let us know because I'm curious to see if it see what it what it has. I've heard good things about that company, um, and them buying back the Lady Death name and putting her back into comics. So it'll be curious. It'll be interesting to see how good this stuff is. Dude, um, I've heard like the Lady Death's really cool. We had um, Genevieve um, on our show, Broomall. And she does a lot of these um, covers for covers, them. That's right. And um, and she was talking a lot about. I'm trying to think of the guy's name right now. He is the guy who does all of the Lady Death. He basically owns it and does all the writing, and I believe he does some of the art too. Um, it, it is a really cool. It is a very beautifully well done book. You look through them, and they just they're very capturing images. You get to see some really, like, I think to be some really good images out of them. So that's, I, I yeah, nice call out with that. Um, and then I forgot to look at what I was looking at next. Oh, uh, what do I got next? Sorry, guys. There we go. This is one that I'm excited of for number one. Uh, another guy we actually had on our show through Emerald City. Um, he is the guy who killed Wolverine. He's also bringing Wolverine back. This is The Hunt for Wolverine, number one by Charles Soule. Um, and yes, Soul is bringing Wolverine back. And you just, whenever you can get, you know, Wolverine back in the mix, it's got to be good. Um, you know, Wolverine is, you know, to me, he's Marvel's Batman. He's just your, your go-to, you know, solid, you know, you want to talk about, I don't know. To me, you know, it's like you got vanilla ice cream. It just, it always works for me. Never, you know, but doesn't let you down. It doesn't let me down, and that's that's just what this is. Uh, whenever you go through Wolverine, um, a kid growing up when you had the Wolverine TV show, you know, or the X Men's TV show, I mean, you had to love him. And then Hugh Jackman, what he's done with him in the last fifteen years, I think yeah. it's been fifteen years of Logan, has oh god, dude, you just it's solid. So uh, Hunt for Wolverine, number one. Number one. And talking about number ones, but that's my next call out, and it's a whole host of them. And give me a second here. Let me bring them up. It's all of the images first. So if you haven't caught these books and you want to catch their number ones, they're republishing them for one buck. And I am all about deals. 
you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven number ones that you can get for a dollar each. And that's Age of Bronze. Curse Words. We already know that Curse Words is a good book. Fear Agent. Moonshine. I think I've done a little something. We've done something about Moonshine because I drink it. Moonstruck. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Redneck Number One. We already know that's a great book. Phenomenal. Street Angel. All those number ones right there are getting redone out. They're going to be sent back out one buck. How can you go wrong with that? Yeah, Afar, Age of Bronze. Dude, um, and this, is you know, Image is doing that with a lot of their they're more, um, you know, at their current time staple books, they'll do those number ones. You know, Fear Agent, a, uh, a great um, Rick Merinder book that I just talked about earlier. Um, and, yeah, that, that, is, that is cool. Um, I'm going to stick with this, uh, this path that you had. And you mentioned Redneck number one. So I am going to mention Redneck number 12. This is pretty cool. I, I love Nick uh, Patara's art on the A cover that's on the left there. Um, he has just got this overly detailed, um, just just cool style. He's got another book coming out soon. But uh, you know what Donny Cates is doing with Redneck is really a good good story all the way around. And then you got the uh, kind of like knock on uh, Marvel, which is Donny Cates is writing a whole bunch of Marvel right now. And Cosmic Redneck with Grandpa there flying off on his wheelchair. It is freaking funny. Um, I, uh, I I dig it. I dig it. Um, and yeah, that's I, mean, in, uh, I dig. What's the the um, the cosmic? Uh, oh shoot! It just came out here a little while ago. The Thanos? What's that? Was it cosmic Thanos or? No 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 the. Oh well, it's it's eluded me. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Skull guy rides a motorcycle. Um, oh yes, yes, yes. You're talking um, um, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, yeah. Cosmic um, Ghost Rider. Yeah, is one looking. that Donny Cates is going to be writing soon in the near near future. So that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, that is some Donny Cates is going to be on near future. Um, anything other than a Valiant title for you right now? Well, I and I can't remember if you covered Injustice Two. I'm not big on the DC books, but. Uh, Anytime you can get a follow on, and I heard Injustice was pretty decent, so um, get a quick follow on there. Keep continue riding that wave. I know a lot of people hunt for number ones, but I like to give it at least an arc before I pass judgment on a book. That's kind of that's kind of true. And when you got good writers, there are certain writers that make you have a weird issue number one, and then it closes out, and it's like, oh my god, that was pretty awesome. Uh, but a book that's hot from go, and it continues to be hot from every time an issue is out there is got to be Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, Kill or Be Killed. Number 18 of this uh, just awesome story um, about a guy who made the deal with the devil and, you know, and it's exactly with the title. He's got to kill or be killed and uh, just due to this deal with the devil. Um, Sean Phillips' art is great. The, the pairing of Brubaker and Phillips, they've done so many books together. It, it seems like they've done millions of books already together. Literally not, but like, you know, criminal, whatnot. They have done a ton. I dig uh, me some kill or be killed all day long. Cool. Do you want to get some of the grand finale of the, the day? Fire it up. I know there's one that you've talked about. Well. You uh, quite enjoyed it, and so that is this one, and I'll let you kick it off. Well, I was going to say, I read both of the Valiant releases, and one of them is pretty damn fantastic. And the other one is pretty damn fantastic. But this one here, excellent story. Um, he's coming back to Earth. This long journey, he's finally going to be here. This is what a lot of people have been waiting for. So much has happened out there uh, in space for him. And now he's finally home. And now everything kind of comes to a head. And this is one to be... This is one that Valiant fans, or I should just say Exo Manowar fans, if you're reading this title, this is one that we have all been waiting for. The answers get answered, and it's great. It's fantastic. I'm excited for other people's reactions on this. I really, really dug, th dug this issue. I'm excited for everybody else to get into it, and it's going to get us right into Harbinger Wars 2. Yep. Um, 
gosh, and it touches base on so many of the things that we were asking about that. And my, oh my, some awesome covers to go with it too. Um, just all the way around. I love um, in the center there, um, Raul Allen. He's just got this cool illustrator vibe to get off some phenomenal covers. Um, but I'm going to go, go back one. Go back one. Where you go? One there on the right. That one, I'm not, oh gosh, I got to double check and who remember who that yeah, is. That one to me, that one to me says, damn, that just looks fantastic. It, it really, really does. It really does. It screams. That's Karen Grant is who that, who, who the artist is on that. Yeah, that pops. I, for me, I mean, yeah, I've seen XO and I've seen them fly upside down, all that stuff. And, and they're cool. But that one, just like he's coming out of the fire. That's cool. And, and the one on the right, that's Masafara, right? Shadow Man number two is out and it is – or not out. It's coming out tomorrow, that's but you cool. need to go get it. Um, uh, what is it? Tonsi Zonic in his simplified – I'm sorry, his – I'm not sure if it's a – I think it's a him. It's he. Um, is really – just the first cover number one, cover number two. Seeing the cover of number number three um, that has Alyssa on it. Those covers are awesome. And then you get some Renato Guedes, who actually did that cover on the left there is Renato Guedes. Killer on that. And I think you said Felipe Mustafa on the right. Um, Something like that. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, Shadow Man number two. We got Shadow Man number one. And Jack is back. He's back as the, the, the Shadow Man that he is. Uh, he's kind of shedded the magpie persona. And he is back um, to deal with some, some action. And then just again, all the way around, um, Temple Smith's covers, phenomenal. And again, on the far right, there you go again with Raul Allen's covers that continue to kick kick it out of the way. You know, just they they rock. I am Andy Diggle, I think is gonna give us a great um, a great shadow man. We're gonna be very happy with what Andy Diggle gives us. And I'm really excited to get to dig really into the history of Shadow Man, which is what we're going to be getting. And then when we get done with all of that, I mean, we will have such a fantastically mapped out subject, one that we've had tons of questions about, and it'll be all mapped out. And then, I mean, this he's got two years, he said. He's got two years easily of material. So I'm really excited about this. It's, it's going to be fun to dive in. It's like, a, it's like that big meaty sandwich. Big meaty sandwich, quality you know? mustard, quality bread, mustard. Oh yeah, lost me a mustard. Oh, you gotta have a little <laughs> bit of mustard. Uh, but we 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 talked a little bit about Shadow Man, um, and we we love we love Shadow Man. We love Jack, right? You love you oh, like yeah. you like Jack. I like Jack, and um, we also get to see Jack today on Woo! episode number four, Ninja versus the Valiant Universe. Hang on tight, guys. You're going to get off of this one. We're going to start a brand new video. That way we just keep it separate. You know, we don't have our mustard and ketchup touching. You can't have it together. And we're going to get episode number four of Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe in-depth review. It's coming. It's on another issue. Check that out. And then I also want to get people pumped up because wait, wait, here more. really, 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 really soon is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Oh. Yes, that's right. Kevin Porter is coming on the show tomorrow with us. Episode number five, Ninja Egg vs. Valiant Universe. And this is where Archer and Armstrong get a little busy. We get to see them in action more than just being comedy and hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm pumped up. You know, Kevin Porter, dude. That's... Dude, it's solid. We you know, this guy's been in Dodgeball, and he's been in all kinds of shows. And he's uh -huh. going to be on here tomorrow. I wonder if you still remember the five uh, the five rules of dodgeball? Five rules, yeah. Yep. Uh, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You know, but he was one of the jerks. Remember, he was on Stellar's team. He wasn't on Vince Vaughn's yeah. team. Yeah. So he was one of the jerks in that. But pumped up to have that. Um, but wait, guys, wait, 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 wait. I'm like Billy Mays right now. There's more. Let me throw not one thing extra in. Well, Kevin Porter's number two, but you know, outside of him, I got no, 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 not three, not three things, not three things, but I'm going to get you four things that are happening with us that are connected with us. And 
on Thursday. This is going to be a little bit earlier. At 6 o'clock, we got uh, uh, Chantel Berry, Roku, is on our show to uh, talk about episode number six. And this is where we get to see her go head-to-head with a lot of the Valiant Universe. Um, you know, that's my speculation. I actually don't know that, but I'm hoping that's the case because we got to kill the bad guy in the end. It always happens that way. And she's playing such a villainous. I love it. But that ain't it. Right? Like I said, one more thing in for free. We're going to leave that show on Thursday and jump over to Get Valiant, their 80th show. And we are going to meet with Aaron Shinoki, the director, writer, everything of Bat in the Sun, and Livewire, Sierra Foster. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's happening. So that's a good one. You know, we also want to thank our buddies over at Outright Geekery, getting a lot of that stuff set up, getting a lot of it for us. Um, but we really want to give. Um, we really want to get people on it to uh, watch us here tonight at Ninja versus episode number four. Check us out here in a little bit for uh, um, the next one that's following, which is uh, Kevin Porter. Um, that's coming up, Kevin Porter. And, and then, look for those uh, tweets out there on Twitter, anything out there that's on Facebook, pass that stuff around. We want to let these actors and actresses know how much they mean to us for what it means for them to come and portray our favorite uh villains and good guys our our heroes the people that we buy comic for comic books for and that we're huge fans of so get that get that information out there yep and then also thursday huge day the wrap up of ninjack versus with some great guests to be on on with us and um really um really cool um you know from what we're told is there's not going to be a whole lot of time to watch all of these so we hope you guys watch these we hope you watch the previous videos the coming videos of ninjack versus and you give valiant and you get bat in the sun and you throw that out there how much you enjoy it and uh, maybe we might just get some type of format where we could have that out but i want to thank you jumping on chris i'm going to see you in a little bit always you know i love it um, make sure you guys are subscribing. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Likes are always good. Um, and then we want to know, I want to know personally what you guys are reading. I want to know what books you guys think that we should be reading. Uh, give us some recommendations. It's always good. Um, you know, know where to start with a new place to go. So make sure you do that. And we want to thank you guys for jumping on.